morning guys uh, I've been waiting for a little bit warmer day to do this but I'm not gonna get one it's January so I gotta get over it <laughs> uh, the tractors warming up and charging for 10-15 minutes I got a pin at the local tractor place for the PTO shaft this is like a push-in style with a spring uh, after looking at this and your guys' advice, I'm not sure if I actually need this or not. I mean, this snowblower, the PTO coupler shaft or whatever, uh, has both styles. I guess the older tractors had a pin that just went right through it. Well, the tractor that I hooked this up on before didn't have the through the PTO shaft hookup. So I'm going to put this one on there so it's versatile, and I might just use the other pin for my tractor because it actually has a hole drilled through the PTO shaft so we'll do that while uh, we'll do that while this warms up my goal today is to hook this up and I don't know if you noticed behind me I found a set of chains that look like they're pretty darn close to the right size so I have to lay those on the ground and drive on those and see what the uh see what the status on those are see what i need to make them work but i gotta go over to the shed here get some grease and maybe a wire brush and put this pin in this pto shaft on the snowblower so it can go onto the tractor pretty excited to get this hooked up it's all right I'll be right back out. All right, so it's gonna be a little noisy over here by the snowblower and tractor because I got the Jenny warming up the tractor. So let me try to get this going. Hang out with me for a few minutes. All right, guys, here we go. Grease, towel, wire brushes. This is not dirty or nothing, but uh, again, I just like to clean stuff up. This is the hole that this pin is gonna go through. It has this other pin or bolt, you know, that I thought was just like stored here and then you put it through here. I put that on the other tractor, my neighbor's tractor, and then it popped off. This just popped right off the PTO shaft that comes from the tractor. Uh, but after one of you guys suggested or recommended or informed me that uh, the older tractors, like my tractors from the 70s, I believe, it has a hole through the PTO shaft coming from the tractor and this bolt goes in there. So in theory, I could use this. I want to put this on here so this is prepared for a tractor that doesn't have that in case the neighbor decides he wants to try to use this or you know if this fails on my tractor we have a backup plan so this goes I've never done this before it's just kind of like looking at stuff and seeing how it works so what this does is go in then you push this in and then this tapered end holds the PTO shaft on so i'm gonna put a little bit of grease on this put this in the hole here see if she slides in now see that's what i it's like tight there we go so now this plunge is nice and easy so let's put this retaining this little retaining clip in here oh shit i need a pair of pliers to crimp that on I thought it would like be like a c-clamp and stay on but it does not stay on all right I gotta go get a pair of pliers oh I got a pair on the back of the snowmobile right here so there we go see that pinch on there good hopefully that's good enough it was easier than I thought it was going to be. So, all right, perfect, guys. All nice and greased. New pin is on. 
All right, guys, it's been running for 10 to 20 minutes. I don't know why I did that. Uh, let's see if she'll start up. when I have a charge on that battery uh, it's only two amps that 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 charger is pretty old and janky it's an old Harbor Freight one or when I jump it the key works so maybe that battery doesn't have enough cold cranking amps uh, do these old tractors I know a lot of them used to have the dual batteries that are run in series so you get your 12 volts that way like the old tractors like this one uh, you know, you go to Tractor Supply or any of the stores, they have them, them long 6-volt batteries. And then you can put them in series, I assume. And do those have more cold cranking amps? Or more cranking amps in general? Uh, if those have more cranking amps, maybe my whole problem from the start is just the battery doesn't have enough cranking amps. But that battery I put in there was brand new two years ago. And granted, it's been neglected, but it has 950 cranking amps. I would think that'd be enough. But this is a big old diesel, 50 horsepower diesel Perkins 8203. So if you guys have any knowledge about this, let me know. Like I said, maybe my cold cranking amp just isn't high enough. That's why it doesn't have enough juice to turn over. Let me know. Maybe that's been my problem the whole time. I really appreciate all you guys that have all this knowledge and experience from all these years of doing stuff. So, uh, and I appreciate it. Appreciate you sharing and helping me. Not everybody has an in-person mentor, so uh, that th this this journey and having you guys along helps me a lot. So, even like with the pantry, you know, just all those little tidbits, that stuff makes me think outside the box it gives me great ideas so i appreciate you guys so let's get this tractor let's just test these chains out and see if we can at least get the we can at least get the snowblower hooked up and get this blade off the back of this tractor turn off the tractor so I could talk to each other not yell at each other so so guys these chains are probably about three or four foot too short which I kind of expected he uh, you know we measured them or he posted them as 118 inches long and the circumference of this tire is I believe from online said 167 so that's 50 inches. It's four, you know, over four foot. But my thought was the outside perimeter runs on the side wall. It doesn't run on the outside, very outside circumference. So I thought, well, 40 inches, you know, it should be within a couple feet. 
I've never done this before. I'm learning. I, I, I needed to get it on here somewhat so I could see what I needed. And they, they fit good, the width-wise. Like, they ride right on the sidewall, which I think is where you want them. It might be a little big. I don't think there's any, there's nothing that can hit. It's not going to hit the wheel well. So I think they ride good. Like, they're riding right here on the sidewall. I don't think they have to be up here. I think they're better to be down here. Where, you know, maybe it'll rub on the sidewall, but it won't hit the wheel well or anything. There's a nice, good gap here. So is that okay for it to ride right about there? I don't think it would have to ride up any higher. I think that right there would be fine. Unless the chain are I would think they'd fall off if they were up close to the edge. They would come up. So this is better. Anyway. Yeah, you could tell. Look. Like if you pay attention. Look, this stuff was all riding on the sidewall. This is still in good shape. And the stuff that was riding on the top of the tire. Like from here crossed is all wore down so i'm probably gonna have some troubles with this can you see how flat that is i'm probably gonna have some trouble with these braking because there are a few spots where it's welded already but you know a new set of chains for this thing was like a grand at least i think it was like 600 bucks per tire which is nuts absolutely insane it's just freaking chain you know Twelve hundred dollars for a set of chains. It's freaking insane. Like who has this money? Like how do people who farm and people who live out here afford this stuff? Like people give us a hard time for doing like sponsored videos because we have to pay for stuff and they, they think once you go off grid you're just gonna not have to pay for stuff anymore. Well, this stuff all costs money, guys. I mean, I get good deals on stuff, and it costs a lot of money. Six hundred dollars for a snowblower. This tractor only cost me three grand. I mean, this is a nice tractor for three thousand bucks. It's not exactly what I need, but I can't afford a thirty thousand dollar tractor. So, anyway, now I know what I need. Another 100 to 100 to 150 bucks worth of stuff just to make these work. So I'll have 250 bucks into these chains, and then they probably won't be perfect. <laughs> anyway, all right. Let's go get the snowblower hooked up. The whole day will be gone. But maybe it'll work. I mean, we're getting quite a bit of snow. Not quite a bit, but it's snowing pretty steady. We got an inch today. All right, let's get this snowblower hooked up.
Maybe this won't go on here with this on. Maybe I have to take this off, which kind of sucks. Making more work for myself. I don't know what I'm doing. Take that back off. There we go, guys. All hooked up. I guess I never needed. I guess I never needed that other push pin that I bought. I should have kind of suspected that, but I didn't think my tractor had that hole in the shaft. Look at troubles here. Hi, troublemakers! Whoa! Hi! Troublemakers are here. Number one and number two. Number three's surely close behind. There she is, way back there, I think. Yep. Timber's got pee on stuff. So I guess I should have suspected that, but uh, that little hole in my PTO shaft was all full of mud or one of them mud daubers or the mud wasps filled the hole so I didn't see it there. Plus I didn't really know. I kind of peeked at it after I saw that bolt there and didn't see it there. So I just expected, suspected that I needed that other push pin, but I did not. So another job done in vain. But I took it off. Now I have it if I need to hook it to a different tractor. So, troublemaker number three. How's that go? Just like every other project, still not done. All right. So, making progress. I got everything hooked up but the top thing, so I have to take the top adjustable point up to the barn and see if I can get it unseized. So I got everything else hooked up though. Getting a little exercise. Taking the pups for a walk because they like it. They play a little bit more in the snow. <laughs> They're like little kids. <laughs> anyway, do is try. make a progress, a little at a time. So enjoy your walk, I'll see you when you get back. Yep. I'll come with you. Give me two seconds. All right, guys. I took this adjustable three-point arm off, took it up to the cabin, and was trying to beat on it and soak it in PB Blaster. And So let's try to get this on here, see if I can break this adjustable arm free so I can get the snowblower hooked up. I guess Jen just told me we're getting a snowstorm in a couple days. Like half a foot which isn't the end of the world but it'd be a good time to try out the snowblower and I got everything hooked up except for this top arm so let's get this done bar. I don't even know if that's, I guess it's going the right way. So to do that, maybe it'll break free.
Well, there's one inch of the three inches. guys uh, so now I have now I'm invested get this all set up perfectly for the snowblower let's see how she does hopefully this isn't a lost cause or a waste of my time Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Let's get this up and see how it lifts and how it goes. Seems freaking scary, man. That thing's spinning like a hundred miles an hour back there, right behind my head. I don't know if I really like that. It is what it is. All right, I want to make a couple runs up and down the road. I want to see what the traction is with a little bit of weight on the back without the chains. I don't have much faith that the P, you know, that the snowblower is going to help with the traction that much. You guys said it would. Some of you. But these tires are already loaded. I know there's a lot of weight on the front from this loader. And I know this loader comes off, but I've never I had no intent on taking this loader off ever. I'm gonna get chains and try this. If it doesn't work, then we just had a fun adventure and we had fun hanging out with each other for a little bit. But gotta try stuff, guys. You know, what am I gonna do? Sit on the couch and think about it for another year like I did the last three years? honestly don't mind snowmobiling in and out of here but that's not like a long-term solution so all right let's figure this out let me do a couple runs
all right guys so I did a pass up and down the road there's a reason people sell stuff and I'm pretty sure I knew this was thing was a waste of time but if it worked good they wouldn't be selling it most of the time so <laughs> I mean there's only a couple inches of snow so maybe I was scraping a bunch of crap and it I mean it's light fluffy snow but not much of it so maybe I was scraping hard stuff off the road and it got clogged with packed impacted stuff so and I went around the cul-de-sac and I'm pooped guys so I wasn't really taking the camera with me but uh, I got a little tiny incline just like before when we were unloading the snowblower right over there by the turnaround and it wouldn't go up an incline so the whole point of having this thing was to plow the road the half a mile of road in and out of to the maintained road it's like over a half a mile it's like three quarters of a mile probably to a mile and uh yeah it's all uphill so if i can't go up a tiny little incline I don't even know if it'll work good with chains. So I'm gonna try to do them chains because they're obviously necessary. Even with those tires loaded and the weight on the back, it still slips like just, I don't know. Anything on ice, like this stuff just, it just smushes it down into ice. And it's big, big old heavy tractor pushing it down and then it just turns it to an ice ring instantly so no big deal you know a few hundred six hundred bucks for the snowblower and I'll have a couple hundred bucks into chains and we'll try it so if I have less than a thousand dollars into this then and it doesn't work whatever I can always sell it but I don't know why anyone want to buy it if it doesn't work so but we'll try it on some fluffy snow, I guess. Maybe we'll get some fluffy snow in a few days. This is fluffy, but like I said, it's just like an inch or two. Maybe I was scraping all the crap off the bottom. So that whole auger just gets impacted with crap, and then the chute gets impacted with stuff. So I'm going to go try to find like a chunk of metal or like a pick or something so I can pick it all out of there so it doesn't turn to an ice cube. And I'm sure that's what will happen if you don't clean it out when you put it away. I got a backup plan, guys. You'll see it in the next few weeks hopefully I can get it up here safely and effectively I've been messing with it for a couple weeks already downstate so backup plan to our snowblower failure <laughs> Deal, guys. Oh, hey, puppies! Hi, Timber. Hi. Oh my goodness, my hands are filthy. I can't pet you. Hi. Hi. What a good puppy. Scout. pick this out of here for me so that instantly gets clogged it's crappy I scrape the crap off the road so maybe it'll work if it's fluffy snow can you take care of that for me while I take the dogs for a walk nope. come on I've been working on this all day I'll go over a walk with my wife. I'm coming, don't leave me.
Nope, up to the cabin. Let's go. 